Hi guys, this is Mia. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's been such a long time since my last video and if you watched it, you must know that was about how I flew from London to China and how tough it was. And at the end of my last video, I also promised that I would make a quarantine vlog, which I did film it, but I just never be bothered to edit it and post it so i'm very sorry for anyone that might be expecting to see that and i hope it's not too late to show you guys now so in today's video i will not only show you my quarantine experience but also like little pieces of my life for the past seven months since this is my very first vlog of 2022 and now let's get back to the 17th of december 2021 I got up at 7, opened the curtains to let the sun in, made my bed. If I'm honest, I usually don't make my bed, but I did it for this video to make it look nice. Then I tied my hair up to get ready for a shower. And I brushed my teeth, washed my face, put a mask on, read a book, then got distracted by my phone of course, and put on some skincare. After my morning routine, I got my first free breakfast from the hotel. I know some other people would do as many things as possible to make the day productive. At least that's what I thought I would do during quarantine. But if you think that's what I do every day, you're so wrong. Because what I did every day was sleep as much as I could and wait for my daily COVID test and eat. You also might be interested in how much does it cost for the whole thing like the price for the hotel and food and so on there's some different prices for different rooms just like when you normally book a hotel room mine was like 420 RMB per night including breakfast I would say it's quite expensive for this kind of room and there are also nicer rooms which cost even more and there were two options for food it's either you pay 100 RMB for lunch and dinner from the hotel every day which means you don't get to choose or know what you're going to have for the day or you either order food by yourself on apps and they will just take it to your room once it's been delivered which means you can order whatever you want since the food are all from the restaurants outside and I must say it's very convenient to order food online in China so obviously I went for the second one because there were too many delicious food that I've been dying to have again also I usually don't even spend like 100 on beef or food every day so it just sounded like a better deal for me After 14 days of doing nothing but sleeping and eating, my last day of quarantine finally came. I did my last COVID test. I honestly couldn't be more sick of doing this test every single day. And I got nosebleed twice because of this. But that wasn't even the worst part of the journey. I was told that I need to quarantine for another 14 days after I get home, which is another province. Apparently there are like different rules for it in different places. So I was booking the flight tickets but I was not able to choose my seat because they think I was too dangerous that I just entered the country like 14 days ago so obviously it's not like enough to prove them that I didn't have COVID. How ridiculous was that? And also while I was boarding somebody just came and told me to wait in the VIP line because the seat that they chose for me was like at the very back of the plane so they wanted to make sure that I don't have like you know physical touch with anyone at this point you can tell how hard they were trying to separate me from others and of course they were calling my name with a speaker to make me the first one to get off the plane as well so I had to walk through the crowd while like everybody was staring at me thinking like what is going on for the first time of my life I feel like a superstar and of course a superstar deserves the entire bus just to herself if you think this is dramatic wait until you see my ride yes an ambulance that was my first time ever 
ever in my entire life went on an ambulance I still can't believe those people drove like all the way from my hometown which is three hours away from the airport and drove me back so that was already like too much to take in one day but seeing the place I had to quarantine for another 14 days literally freaked me out I literally cried Yes, they literally put me in a hospital room. I was making calls every day trying to reach like the higher people to like tell them how bad that place was. Like it's literally ridiculous for anyone to live there for 14 days. And hoping they could at least reduce the time to like 7 days. Because I generally thought I could not do that for like 14 days. Like, I would go insane, but I couldn't change the mind or the rules, so there was nothing I could do about it, really. So all I did every day is basically counting down how many days I've left while being extremely depressed. Imagine I had to spend the New Year's Eve alone in this cold, creepy hospital room. It's just not the way that I expected to, you know, embrace the new year. Like while everyone was celebrating outside and I was just being sad and miserable in that creepy room. And I think the worst thing is that I missed my cousin's wedding as well. So I absolutely hate every minute of being there. So while I was being there, I didn't really want to make any videos because I didn't want to show anyone and make people think like how bad my hometown is. Until my last day there, I changed my mind. So I quickly took some videos to show you like how it was. This room is on the seventh floor and I was the only person in this entire floor. It was too empty and creepy. I was struggling to go to sleep every night because the middle part of the door was like visible so, so I always imagined there was somebody standing there while I sleep and there were no nurse in this nurse station. There were only two hospital beds which did not have any cushions. Looking out of the window, you know this building is in the middle of nowhere. There's a TV which doesn't work because there was no Wi-Fi and the signal was bad for the most of the time. There were only one chair and a table that could not even have lunch at. So I had to sit on the bed and use the table next to it when I eat. The only thing that I'm glad about is that I was very close to my family so they could send me whatever I needed to survive here, such as blankets. They did offer some bed sheets, which was brand new, thin, bad quality. I also had to order some heating blanket online because there was no heaters or anything that keeps me warm when it was like 5 degrees. Now let's have a look in the bathroom, which might shock you. So there was a shower with only cold water coming out. Yes, you heard me, there was no hot water in this place. So my family got me a bucket and a water heater so that I could just plug this in to get some hot water. And there was no mirror in this bathroom as well, which could have been a pain for me, but I was fine with that because I knew I'd gone crazy and looked crazy so I didn't want to see myself anyway. So that was the place where I had to quarantine for 14 days without any Wi-Fi, hot water. I did not have anyone to talk to and didn't have any movie downloaded to watch to kill the time. So that was literally like the darkest, the worst period of time of my life. Seeing those beautiful sunset has made me forget about all the sadness I had. I was so happy to see this small town again. Soon, the Chinese New Year came, then I started meeting up with all my friends that I haven't seen for a long time. Seeing my friend's baby, he's an angel. I also started my driving lessons, but I failed the test. I was also spending a lot of time looking after my grandma. And here's a video of me teaching her English. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Good morning. Ina. Good morning. Good morning. Take <laughs> some water. Huh? Take some water. 
<laughs> in love. I know. My granddaughter. My daughter. And daughter. My granddaughter. Baby, baby. <laughs> I was also eating way too much food. They are all my favorite. I also finished a couple of paintings at home when I had like a lot of time. Then I did something that I have never done before with my friend. We went to a town which is not that far away from us to see snow. I've never seen proper snow in my life until I went to the UK. So this was actually my first time to touch it in China. Because where I live never snows. We had a lot of fun that day. Then my birthday came. I went for a little hike on a mountain where I could see the whole town and took some pictures there and spent the day with my family. Then I realized I was being too comfortable at home, too much food, too much drinks and definitely too much bubble tea. So I decided to go back to Zhuhai where I used to live since I went to college to start a new life and find a job and also to see those beautiful sky and those lovely people and also my favorite barbecue yes, it's all about food so basically starting a new life again here I'm looking forward to make more videos of everything around me in this beautiful city in China so subscribe if you're interested thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video. Bye!